Hey guys, welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426, a small collection of asteroids out there in the cosmos. And we have got a small collection of duplicates, 12 of them in total spread across the rock. And we're trying, trying to take them into the future in the most comfortable way possible. But we have a few problems overbuilding at the moment. In the background here, we have got ourselves a cool slush geyser and a cool salt slush guys that one of them has gone dormant this means that our water has been slashed in half and as most of our food relies on water this is a bit of a problem thankfully this guy has finally finally fired up in a proper way and we are starting to filter a bit of water through and it's coming through and going through to our other places Taranu though we have a bit more of a pressing issue we will be trying to solve that issue but we've got one that's a bit more of a problem right now in fact I can watch it happening do you see how these guys Gases are now currently swapping place. It used to be that the steam would sit on top of the natural gas, but no. We had an update yesterday, day before, and uh, it seems that that situation has been reversed. The steam is now dropping down, and we need to try and actually filter out the steam from this system. Well, honestly, the steam will be filtered out of this system. It will come up, it will run past this little uh, gas element sensor, and the steam will be ejected from this high-pressure vent. The problem that we've got is that this liquid pump here will then start picking up that water and trying to put it inside our oil refinery. This is a big problem because this is going to mean that we're going to have a situation where we are damaging this constantly and I'm not looking to damage it so I'm just going to grab this cycle sensor quickly and I think we're going to move it all the way over here uh, and let's move the automation as well. And the reason that I've done that is I want to drop some of the water that is coming through here or that will be coming through here. There's not really any way to stop it at the moment. Uh, coming through here to uh, drop it down into the water pickup down below. I'm going to put a liquid vent over there and we're going to put a different piece of automation and then we're going to have it going from here up and through. The different piece of automation will be uh, basically the same as this sensor here. We'll be looking to see if there's crude oil going through and if it's not crude oil we're going to throw it out on the side. Okay, last piece of pipe has just gone into place and we should now be dropping water down below if I can clear the background there. I'm not sure why it's gone over this side. This was kind of what I was trying to avoid by building it here. It must just be up and flowing over. The pump can't quite keep up maybe. Um, okay, it turns out I should have built it one further over. Maybe we could have worked that out but it's, uh, it's quite a tight situation over here at the moment. Okay, having watched this for a bit, it does indeed make a mess. What a beautiful time, autosave. I'd like to bring you through the uh, the shuddering hole that is autosave. Uh, every now and then the door opens, things get dropped on the wall on the bottom here. It gets picked back up, thrown back into the system. Eventually all the water is getting cleaned through the... Uh, the water sieve up here, we've been having some damaging situations again. That's unfortunate. I thought we'd fixed all of those. But as you can see, we're doing well enough to actually fill up this tank here and get enough bristle blossoms ticking over. Talking of bristle blossoms, I have noticed a bit of an issue. Uh, over here, as I mentioned previously, this has actually been going well enough to keep us just ticking over. We've got a bit of an insufficient oxygen generation problem, but I, I, I think we can work our way through that. The problem that I've got right now, that was a gristleberry being pulled out of there and we've got bristle berries in here but have a look this uh, electric grill, grill disabled by automation grill what's what's this why this is sending out a no signal but we've not hit the 100 100 kilograms why is this sending out a no signal i don't understand why why would it be this way around so I've put down a knock gate, and this seems like a perfect time to tell you I've installed the pliers mod again. Bam, let's just break that, and as soon as that steel, uh, steel knock gate gets made, uh, it will fire up the electric gear again. We are starting to run out of gristleberry calories, and that's not great, because that's what we're feeding all our hatches on. Whilst we're talking about the hatches, look at the number of hatch eggs we've got down here. Also, look at our little breeding cell. There's nowhere for them... Oh, I suppose we could put them over here. There's not really anywhere for them to go, and they're just building up, building up. As I say, the water situation is a little dire. We're making oxygen. Look, we can, you can see we're making oxygen and things are being done down here. I kind of... Should we do something I've been meaning to do for a while? Blop. Let's just mop all of this up because it's all not being picked up by this liquid pump at the moment. Deconstruct these bottle emptiers. 
Sometimes things just don't go smooth enough for you to do it in one sentence. And then you can put down this bottle emptier over here. And this is where we're going to empty out all the brine and salt water. Straight on top of the pump. Beautiful. And that, that'll be that'll be nice and cleaned up then. If we can get over here and clean this up. Anyway, as I was saying before, I distracted myself with oxygen. We need to get water sorted. I think the best way to do that is to be burning more hydrocarbons. And the best way to do that is to start chewing through as much of this carbon dioxide as possible with our slicksters down here. And I think the best way we can do that, lots of best ways, is to put a door down down here and turn this into another stables maybe we'll even open up another one on this side and just start trying to chew through all this carbon dioxide these guys will be producing petroleum this this is great that we, we can feed the petroleum straight into our generator I mean, I'd like to put it straight into the tank up here but getting past all of this might be a bit of an issue Okay, we've got a classic situation of the animals wanting to go on the other side of the building we're building to contain them. I don't want them down there. We need them on this side near the grooming station. So I've just got to keep moving randomers back and forth until they get to where they need to be to be safe, which should hopefully be on this side. Come on, one of them's gone. No, no, the other, the other one's still sat there. This might, this, this might take a second. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Got it. Great. Hopefully they're not going to drop down here. Hopefully. <laughs> Whilst it makes me quite sad, I've turned this critter feeder off. I think I think we're going to end the the hatch's existence in this particular place. We're getting the coal through the through from Yakil and their hatcheries over here. So I I just I don't feel like we need them here, and it's a distraction for Honza when he could be very much coming down and dealing with these guys. You know what else I wanted to do? We're back on Yakil uh, with the with the hatcheries. I uh, I wanted to come into the shipping here. I've been I've been setting this up for a little while just to pop this auto sweeper down. I I think this is going to speed things up no end. Okay, yeah, the, the auto sweeper is now speeding up the passing around of like the bristle berries from this conveyor to conveyor receptacle to the the grill and then picking up the the gristle berries and put them in the fridge. That that's great. That's exactly what we need. Oh, there it goes. Bam. All right, it's loaded it up. We've got some barbecue on the floor. Hopefully that's getting picked up and, yeah, put into the refrigerator. Now we just need to deal with all these seeds and stuff on the floor. Nice and tidy, and I've put up a bunch of plants to try and deal with the decor nerfs around here. We seem to be having a little bit of water issues still, but I think, I think the amount of hatches we're having are probably going to lend themselves uh, to giving us all a bunch of barbecue our barbecue stocks are definitely on the climb but i want to come over to shrewy we had a little bit of problem you can see kane here 56 percent on the stress this was a big problem and mostly the problem is this kane here yeah mostly the problem was brought on by his surroundings they were just dire they were not great down here you might see that this is where we had him living uh, and we used to have a whole bunch of heavy watt wire coming down here now you can see it goes up and through the top here that's pretty cool something we need to deal with over this side though we need to remove this tile this water causing too much troubles we're going to drop it down you can see i've uh, kind of boxed this off here we're going to drop it down and hopefully hey what's this a uh, bottle of water coming out here for hopefully drop it down into this cold area and make some ice that that seems like a great idea even though we're dropping this water down the side here, I've got a feeling we're going to end up mopping quite a bit of it. Uh, we've got Hicks to come through to knock out these tiles here. The water's coming down to the bottom, 13 degrees so far, but it is dropping, dropping fast. Minus 11 on this radium. I think I think we're probably going to end up with a whole bunch of ice down here. Oh, that's it's not flowed quite as well as I would hoped it would have, but I, I'm sure this will sort itself out. Ooh, ooh, look at this weird coloration we got going on here. This is this is nice. This is nice. Got a little little cyclic action on the go. There's like polluted water in the corner that's not letting the actual water pass. Okay. Well, I think we can safely say this process has become a lot more manual than I would have liked it to, but it's it's not really the problem. We've managed to get everything that we wanted to get going going. Down here, we've got some rust trying to free some polluted water. It's going to take a while. The radium has warmed up to 11 degrees. Uh, we've, got, we've got some 4 degrees down there. Everything's been cleaned up. Beautiful. New printers available. Yes, please. What we got? Fri fried mushroom fried mushroom where, where where would deal with that the best 54,000 calories 75,000 calories seven here here needs the fried mushroom the most enjoy the cuisine my good duplicates enjoy the cuisine 
So as well as trying to get Kane a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chilled out and down to a better stress level, which, you know, we're now at 46. I think that's being achieved. I've also been trying to get us off of the mush fry over here. It's uh, it's not the worst food in the world, but it's, it's definitely on the list of contenders. So to that end, we've been building this uh, puffed ranch for a little while. And at the top, I want to make a... Let's come along here. I want to make a fungal spore plant. A fungal spore farm. Or as we like to call them, a mushroom farm. I, I will definitely take all of those. I've made allowances for both. As you can see, I've got this gas line coming all the way back and down here. This is the only place where we've actually got any carbon dioxide really left on the map. We've had a carbon skimmer down here for a little while. It's been keeping this place relatively clean. So I've been getting this aluminium wire put into place so that we can pump it all up. But another thing that we're going to need at the moment, of course, is to get this mechatronic stuff up. I want to get some sweepers set up. I want to get some conveyor loaders. And to do that, we're going to need someone with with some mechatronic skills. Coming along to have a look at Shirubi here, I am blown away by how much Burke has. I mean, if we look at Hicks, this is what I was expecting. This is a situation uh, very much like I was expecting, but at least half the morale spent on the skills that we needed. Sir Dr. Captain Subs also seems to have a, such a wide open set of skills, so mechatronics engineer, my friend, if you could. Thanks. The main spline for the conveyor rail is in place. It basically just put, takes things from the conveyor loader on the slime and puts them into a conveyor receptacle for people to uh, distribute it out. I suppose I could have put auto sweepers in there. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That would have been very smart. Something like this. There's two things that need to be done to make this a fully functional system. The first is power. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that. Well, actually... I do have a sort of idea how we're doing that. The second one is I'm a little bit annoyed about how long it takes people to go all the way along here. So I'm building this over here. I think we're going to build a little sky bridge going across or a space bridge. Do we call it a space bridge? I think it's a space bridge. We're going to build a space bridge going across here. We've got to, got to put some tiles down. But the first thing we need to do is reroute the power. We've got some power coming through here. I and mean, we can't just play. Well, I mean, I suppose I could just put. No, no, we can't just place a tile on top of it. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't just replace this like so. So we're going to have to have a little side shunt here. Maybe actually when all this gets done, I'll end up putting it back in the middle here. But until someone actually comes along to work on it, yeah, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Obviously, I really would have preferred to make this entirely out of diamond windows. But, you know, we've got, we got to make do with the materials we've got to hand. At the moment, we've got igneous rock and granite. So that that's what we build it out of. When we get the technology to move on to finer materials, we will totally do that. Okay, we've got a bunch of orders set up here to try and take advantage of the situation. I'm going to rip these guys down for now. If we do build a kitchen, it will probably be down underneath, but I do kind of like that one over that way. We're going to build some power lines over here, build some transformers, and then put the power in this way so that everything can be self-regulating for as far as the mushrooms are concerned. Over on Yakil, we've had a little bit of a problem kicking off. Look at this little red bar under here. We have got ourselves a wire bridge that is causing a little bit of a problem. The problem, of course, is the fact that it is a uh, not a conductive wire bridge that's what i'm trying to say uh, where are you wire bridge deconstruct turns out you cannot just build over the top the problem is this liquid tepidizer over here pulls down a, a whopping not um uh, let's have a look so some, somewhere here it tells us 960 watts uh those 960 watts are connected to this 120 as well already we're over a thousand watts and that's enough to start build, uh, burning out this little wire bridge here so if we go and upgrade it to conductive wire bridge Yes, made of steel, because that's all that we've got. Uh, you can see that I've also gone around and done, upgraded all the other wires, but we've got these guys here that need to be worked on. And I think the way that I'm going to do this is to go through this uh, insulated tile here. It's just cold in here. It's nothing too much to worry about. So going in like this is a good thing. Super hard digging being lacked, though. Let's have a look at our skills over here. Of course, the person that we used to have doing it is uh, Hicks. He's on a different rock right now. So let's come down to your uh, kill. Uh, we've got people who are like Ash is only doing doctoring so maybe oh look you can grill and cook as well who, who, who else has some spare slots let's see let's see if it actually uh, um, makes more sense for anybody else to have it i don't think so to be honest look the, jonesy can also cook and doctor that's that's interesting obviously we're going to go for bishop why not why why would we not do bishop super hard digging should allow us to go through here right great wonderful we just need to get this airlock and these ripped down and then we're going to put some power lines in i am wondering whether we need to rip those out i'm going to give them the deconstruct order 
order, but we'll see if it actually works out that way. Okay, we're getting quite close to hooking up all the power along here, so this start, this lot will start wearing up. Over at Taranu, though, how much did I say we needed to have in this storage bin? It was about uh, 300, 600, something around that. Doesn't matter. We've got 800, so let's come back out here. I need to go over here, change the crew to Randomers. He's the man with all the skills, uh, and so, hey, could you, could you, could you jump in there, please? Okay, destination. I literally just want to go here. Is is that a thing we can do? Okay, it looks like it's going, and off you go. Begin that launch sequence. We're going to fire, fire this rocket up. We're going to fly it away. It is a carbon dioxide rocket, so it might start running out of fuel at some point, but I think we're okay. Anything we're missing for? Pilot boarded. I, I disagree. I think he's there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Does he have the, the skill anymore? No. Let's let's give him one of those. Does that, does that help? Is, is that all we needed, or does he need... Oh, that was all we needed, and away he goes. Awesome. So in there, Helios, uh, he is breathing just about. It says we've got a breathability problem. That, that's a shame because I really thought the gas mask would have him covered there. It is running out a lot faster than I thought it would. I mean, we are at like absolute breakneck speed here. We're currently working on pressurized for... No, that's not the one I want to work on. High velocity transport. This is the one we need to get done. Okay, it was a good effort to get started with, but we're going to run out of uh, oxygen far too fast. So let's change back down to there. Any landing pad will be fine. Oh, I've not stopped and watched this animation before. It's pretty cool. Let's get into Tirano. And there we go. We watched them landing. Great. Okay, so we need to do something better for the power. I wonder, do we... Uh, not the power, the oxygen. Do we have any oxyfern here? No, we, we don't. That's a shame. No, Shirubi is the only place we have oxyferns and we cannot send materials back and forth yet. Okay, well... We're gonna have to random as why oh I know why you stood there. Oh wait. Oh okay, off you go. This this should now let you out, right? Yeah, there we go. Great. Okay, well, so we're gonna have to build an auction diffuser or something like that in there. That's not quite what I wanted, but it's it's gonna have to be good enough. We have a few patches of algae around, so I'm gonna go and try and dig them up and see. Oh wait, that's probably a better way to look at it over here. Okay, bright green. Bright green is what we're looking for. Look at this beautiful loads of algae. Let's go and grab it and put it in an oxygen diffuser. Okay, power finally has been connected and we have got slime being picked up by these auto sweepers and being popped into the conveyor receptacle and hopefully then these auto sweepers going along and delivering the slime to the mushrooms. We should then have a pretty serious amount of farming underway here, which is good because I'm having real trouble not letting these guys starve, like real, real trouble. Look, we're nearly out of water. That's, that, that's bad. That's very bad. Thankfully, we do have this water tank over here here but uh, hopefully these mushrooms are just going to completely let, let's try and find them here dust cap re ready in seven and a half cycles mm, it's gonna be a while oh look we have another last piece of cable going into place here hopefully hicks is just gonna finish that off wouldn't be completely unheard of for him to come make a delivery and then run away uh, and then all the slime is being picked up and put into the conveyor as per last time this is this is great this is great i'm thinking i might pick up the eggshells as well try and turn them into slime uh, into lime or something slime lime they're all very similar right Okay, Tyrannu, oxygen diffuser is in place. I've asked for some algae to be brought in, but it looks like it's taking a while, so I'm just going to uh, hurry them along. I guess that means we've only got one thing left to do. We've got Helios. We are flying up, up to a Tyrannu orbit here. Let's go and have a look on the inside. Randomer is doing his thing. The yellow line has filled up. That should be all the flying that needs to happen. Uh, we are, of course, working on high-velocity transport. Beautiful. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to remember to do, let's grab him. I need you to unequip that suit. There we go. Now, now we can just breathe the oxygen that's around as opposed to uh, not breathing the oxygen that's around. I'm going to possibly be a little harsh here. Randomers, I hope you don't mind. You've got 2,000 calories. You can survive for one, but you are definitely going to be complaining about it before we go for landing. Uh, but we are very close, very close to getting this whole orbital research done, the uh, high-velocity transport. And then we can move on to the pressurized forging, which will be diamonds. And then we can have a diamond sky bridge. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, I forgot something very important. Hi, randomers. How are you doing? Okay, let's... Do we, do we, do we take you home? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We, you spent a lot of the points, but not all of them. I th think we're just going to hold on. Okay, research has been completed. That's a diamond press. Wonderful. So we need to now get randomers home. Uh, we need to enable this building, and we need to change our destination 
to Taranu. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Randomers landing back here. This has changed color. Oh, it's the polluted auction. I thought when we went up, it looked like the auction. You know what? I'm just going to empty that particular one there. We don't seem to be spending any of our carbon dioxide as we go up to orbit and back. But whilst I think about it, let's let the crew out. We need to let him out to be able to get a bunch of food and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. But this does mean that in the research over here, we've got two new pieces of technology to play with. The high velocity transportation and the pressurized forging. You know, there's another thing that I realize we're missing from here. Uh, robotic tools over here. We've got a ro robo miner, but more importantly, the payload emptier. I already thought it was up here with this, but the payload emptier allows us to empty out the high velocity transport payloads. Uh, crazy, right? Crazy. So we're going to let that tick over in the background. Let's go uh, around and quickly have a look and see how everybody's doing. We were pretty much trying to make sure that people did not... Oh, it's fine. Back up again. Beautiful. Starved to death before we ran out of water. The water is a little bit... Yeah, we're just running out ever so slightly. Ever so slightly of our farm crops. But with this... Uh saline water going up to our desalinator over here we've just started filling up the amount of water we need for the oxygenators not oxygenators sorry the electrolyzers this guy unfortunately has also gone dormant it was a crazy way they were set up there was actually five days overlap where we didn't actually have any water coming in thankfully loads of little stores around that we could make use of and the constant influx of barbecue keeping everyone well fed 43,000 calories not not much grub for going on what are, we, what are we looking at over here they um start starting to get a little bit low but i think we should be able to make it through having a look over on Turanu. we're down here we managed to get ourselves almost entirely a carbon dioxide free environment it's a little bit much down the bottom here if i'm to be honest with you i think at some point we're going to be putting a pump in and trying to get rid of all this chlorine but i don't know what to do with the chlorine for now so we're going to be leaving it as it stands really trying to eat enough carbon dioxide that this natural gas gets eaten up uh, though the amount of natural gas we've got over there, oh it's finally been eaten through last time i had a look this was backing up still but we are down to 19 kilograms and i asked it to carry on until we we're at 20 so that's pretty sweet this should then start getting pumped through fairly soon shurubi is the one the one with the most troubles but we have got a whole bunch of dust caps growing over there and that's pretty cool this should enable us to eventually in fact i've, ju I've just had a thought about how we can move this around if i pull this open you can see that we've got a bit of conveyor rail going through here but if we use the um, conveyor bridge to go over this way we could then put a conveyor loader that both these auto sweepers can reach and maybe just kind of sneak the mushrooms out sideways I think I think that's a good plan I think that's a good plan okay one of the first things I'm gonna do targeting beacon I'm just gonna pop that there we, we need to send stuff over here and coming to Yakil our original Asteroid. We've, we've just frozen up on the quick save there. Okay. Uh, I want to come to the top here. Do we have a power set? Look, look, look at all this power splinage we can use. I think we're going to build it here. In the rocket tree, hey? Uh, it, ooh, oh, look at that. It's beautiful sizing. Shame about the ladders. Back on Taranu, randomers absolutely going to town on the on the research over here. Uh, no, no, no serious research needed. How are we doing over here? How many do we have just kind of saved up? A hundred rad bolts. That's great. It's a shame you can't actually fire these like directly upwards and send them to another planet. That that'd be great. Could you imagine sending rad bolts from one place to another? I'd be very, very, uh, very happy to use that. Okay, the interplanetary launcher has been popped down. Something that I've not realised, though. We need to figure out a way of getting some rad bolts in there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, look, payload opener has just been done. That's great. We need to get a rad bolt generator. Now, obviously, I'd, I'd kind of like it to be somewhere like this, if at all possible. But that is going to be a bit of a mission to do. And I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed to mostly not let our people die today. In fact, we didn't manage to let anybody die today. And I like that very, very much. We've been mostly reactionary, trying our best to not let people die. There, there's been some food issues going on. There have been some oxygen issues going on. There have definitely been some water issues going on. But right now, we seem to be just about holding in as we make our way gloriously into the future. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.